In this video, we'll take a tour through the interface of Smart RT and LE. If you're using Smart Suite, the real-time mode interface is the same as RT. The only difference is the presence of three buttons at the top right. For switching the program mode between real-time, impulse response, and SPL. Since Smart RT and Smart LE are single mode applications, these buttons are not present. We begin with the menu bar. On Windows machines, the menu bar is attached to the top of the main program window. On Mac OS machines, the menu bar is attached to the top of the display. The location of this menu bar is the only functional difference between the Windows and Mac OS versions of Smart. Below that is the tab bar. Each tab can be thought of as basically its own copy of Smart, a complete workspace that can be laid out and configured as desired. If you're using Smart LE, there is no tab bar. Right click on a tab to open a menu that allows you to create a new tab, delete or duplicate the current tab, move a tab to a new window or rename it. You can show or hide the tab bar in the view menu or by using the key command A. At the bottom of the window is the command bar, which is comprised of 10 user assignable command buttons. To customize the buttons, open the config menu and choose command bar config. Any command in smart that has an associated keyboard shortcut assigned to it can be assigned to the command bar and given a customized name. On the left is the data bar. The data bar shows captured measurement data and is a live view of the associated folder on your computer's hard drive in the documents directory where the measurement data is stored. The data bar always shows you the type of data that corresponds to the type of plot that currently has focus. When viewing a spectrum plot, RTA or spectrograph, the data bar shows saved spectrum data. When viewing a transfer function plot, magnitude or phase, the data bar shows saved transfer function data. On the right of the window is the control bar, which houses measurement engines and engine controls, plus the signal generator at the bottom. Like the data bar, the control bar follows the type of focused plot, and will show you transfer function engines and controls when a transfer function type plot has focus. or spectrum engines and controls when a spectrum type plot has focus. Hover your cursor over the label at the top of the control bar to open measurement settings for that type of measurement. At the top of the control bar is a docked level meter, which also doubles as a clock. The hammer and wrench button opens the measurement configuration flyout, which we'll cover in another video. Below, the View button opens the View flyout, where you change View options and trigger View presets. To the right, in Smart RT and Suite, is the Timer function, which allows automated measurement capture. At the bottom of the control bar is the Signal Generator. The View flyout, Timer function, and Signal Generator are the subject of additional videos. The center of the screen is the graphing area. This is where Smart displays measurement data. It can be divided into a single plot or two and displays any combination of live and saved measurement data. Whenever data is displayed, the cursor readout area above the graph displays information about measurement data that is located under your cursor. Now that you are oriented with the basic interface and layout, See additional videos in this playlist for information on the various interface elements.